guys, it's Kristen here with DivasAndDarks.com and I am here with motivational speaker, author, just all around life guru, Mr. Tony Gaskins Jr. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good. Now we are here right in the midst of your Be Unstoppable shoot with Ford, right? Right. So tell me a little bit about uh, why was the partnership with Ford so important to you? You know, I was very intrigued with the unstoppable movement, you know, because I've accepted that mantra for my life to go to heights that no one has envisioned for me. So when they said it's unstoppable and life is a sport, you know, that intrigued me. And then just knowing the history of Ford and what they've done for African Americans, how they provided jobs and gave fair wages, even, you know, when things weren't so good in America for African Americans. So that kind of endeared me with Ford, you know, in a different way, mm -hmm. more so than just brand alignment, you know, mm -hmm. there was some intrinsic value. Okay. And we've seen you recently on um, My Life with K. Michelle, oh, yeah. giving some <laughs> advice and just encouragement. Um, if you could give one piece of advice to you know, young black women that are looking for validation in relationships. One, what, what one piece of advice would that be? I would say, know yourself, meaning set your standards for your life and know that if you are confident in who you are and your standards and your desires for your life, you will attract it. Mm -hmm. You never get what you deserve by compromising or trying to be what you think the magazines want you to be, what the television wants you to be. But when you are comfortable being yourself and loving who you are, that's when you get more than you could ever imagine. Okay. And we hear that you and your lovely wife just celebrated nine years. Yes, nine years. Nine years. So I know you guys get in the car and love to sing, right? Right, right. So if you guys had like a, a carpool karaoke moment, what songs do you and your wife love to sing while riding? Um, she does most of the singing. Mm -hmm. She, you know, she thinks she can sing when she's singing along with somebody. songs i have a playlist on my phone that she made me make oh, she made you make a playlist yeah, and i don't even know if it's updated on this new phone mm -hmm. uh, but it's a new song by nelly and somebody else mm -hmm. and they have an old school beat okay theme to it okay you don't know what i'm talking about i don't but let me ask you this do you have like some good like old school that you love singing? No, I no. don't. No. No Earth Wind and Fire, no old school Jay-Z, no. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. She loves Sharia Moore. Okay. Is that what it's called? Shmai Sharia. Oh yeah, Moore. Stevie, Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. And her name is Sharie. Mhm. Mm well, that's, but, you know, everybody yeah. loves to sing along with Stevie. Yeah. I'm I'm really not as much of a a music head. Okay. I I like when I changed my life, mm -hmm. I stopped listening to music. Okay. And like on a daily basis, okay. you know. So I always feel odd because everybody loves music, mm -hmm. you know. But me, I started listening to audio books. Okay. And podcasts. Mm -hmm. And that's what helped me have a paradigm shift because I realized your input equals your output. Mm -hmm. And then your output determines your income. Mm -hmm. And not just income on the money you make but also the blessings mm -hmm. you know and so I started just listening to things that were taking me higher and teaching me and helping me grow mm -hmm. and that's when I kind of you know it was a lot of CDs I was listening to mm -hmm. I used to listen to the Young Jeezy and the Plies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I threw the CDs out the window <laughs> you said I'm done with that you know because okay. of that so yeah I'm not really a big music head okay and last question if you could give you know people one piece of advice that they can do or something that they can try to do on a daily basis to become more and more unstoppable each day what piece of advice would you give 
I would say come up with a new idea every day. Sit down and think for as long as it takes. If it's 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour to come up with a new idea. Something that either you haven't done or something that is an extension of what you already do. Okay. And I think that's what helped me become unstoppable. When I started, I was working for $8.50 an hour. And I worked that job for about five years while I was balancing my dream and my job. But when I started uh, innovating, Steve Jobs said the difference between a leader and a follower is innovation. So when I started creating ideas every day, I went from working for somebody else to owning seven companies, from making $20,000 a year to being worth millions mm -hmm. in just a matter of a few short years because I started not just thinking outside of the box, but living outside of the box. Okay. So that, that's what I would say. Idea generate. Come up with ideas and create. Yes. Right. Well, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank really you. enjoyed this time. And we'll hear more from Mr. Tony Gaskins and the Ford campaign, Be Unstoppable, very soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>